Unit 5 Literature Search This unit is divided into six sections. Section 1 Information Access and Retrieval Generally, information can be accessed and retrieved via the Internet and in libraries. The term Internet needs some clarification. It is often used as a synonym for the information accessed or distributed via the World Wide Web. However, the term Internet refers to a global network of interconnected computer networks and devices used for information exchange and related services. The term libraries refers to research libraries and or reference libraries that provide physical and or digital access to literature. Broadly speaking, two manifestations of information access and information retrieval via the Internet can be distinguished. First, the process of general information retrieval might be applied. Web search engines such as Google, Bing, etc. can be used during the search process. However, the results might be disappointing and have to be carefully evaluated. There are several aspects diminishing the credibility of information retrieved via web search engines. The quantity of findings complicates the processing of information. The ranking of findings is determined by unknown search algorithms. The quality of findings might be impaired by non-academic search results. The outcome leads to distorted conclusions because the state of the discipline is not adequately reflected by search results. Besides the use of web search engines, a heuristic web search can be undertaken. Here, websites of organizations, companies and institutions are directly accessed and analyzed for relevant information. Conducting a heuristic search, one might encounter the following problems. Previous knowledge is needed in order to have an idea where to look for information. The search process might not lead to successful or sufficient results. The search process may require an excessive amount of time. In spite of its aforementioned disadvantages, general information retrieval might assist in forming an idea about a research topic. However, it can only support more efficient ways of academic information retrieval. The second way of retrieving information about a research project is the academic literature search. There are a number of possible search methods. Scholarly search engines, for example Google Scholar, allow searching for academic articles and, in some cases, redirect the user to free or paid services in order to access these articles. Open repositories, for example the Social Sciences Research Network, as well as open digital libraries, for example Google Books, provide the free search, access and retrieval of literature. An Open Access Public Catalog, or OPEC, is a web-based library catalog, for example of a university library, that allows searching for literature. Some information might be retrievable in an electronic format, other literature can exclusively be accessed in physical form in the library. Commercial databases, for example EBSCO, and commercial digital libraries, for example JSTOR, provide paid access to literature. Additionally, some references might be for free. Some libraries have subscribed to the digital services of commercial databases and commercial digital libraries. Library users can access the content from terminals within the libraries or, as the case may be, from their own computers. Evidently, the use of libraries is often a prerequisite for accessing digital resources. Furthermore, libraries allow the direct access to their non-lending collections, which is helpful in order to develop a preliminary understanding of the topic at hand. A common question asked by students is whether they can use references retrieved from the Internet for their research projects. The answer is, it depends. All references have to satisfy the criteria of citability and credibility. Section 2. Search Strategies The starting point for literature research is a library catalogue. The majority of libraries can be accessed via an Open Public Access Catalogue, or OPEC for short. 
As pointed out before, OPECs are web-based, allowing users to search for literature via the Internet from remote locations. For example, from home. OPECs use a search logic that allows the use of intelligent search requests. The underlying logic varies from catalog to catalog. It is advisable to inform oneself about the search logic before starting a literature search process. Typically, OPECs provide different search option criteria such as author's name, title of publication, headwords or keywords. In particular, searching for headwords and keywords are powerful options. The difference between headwords and keywords can be demonstrated by the sample topic Project Finance of Windmill Farms under the German Renewable Energy Act, EEG. Headwords are catchwords that can be extracted directly from the title. Accordingly, headwords of the sample topic could be Project Finance, Windmill Farm, German Renewable Energy Act. Keywords are terms that are linked to the index of the OPEC. Keywords corresponding to the sample topic could be Structured Finance, Sustainable Energy, Subsidy, etc. Whereas it is easy to isolate headwords from the title, it requires some background knowledge about the topic in order to identify suitable keywords. Therefore, some libraries offer a thesaurus that assists in the search for keywords. A thesaurus is a structured list of index terms, also referred to as descriptors, that allows for the identification of keywords related to scholarly disciplines. In the case of new topics, there may be no literature available at first sight. One should not expect to find literature that fully covers one's topic or exactly matches the title of one's research paper project. Instead, it is necessary to use literature that has been written with respect to adjacent fields of research. This can be explained on the basis of the sample topic Project Finance of Windmill Farms under the German Renewable Energy Act, EEG. First, there may be literature that is directly related to the title topic of the research paper project. Examples of literature titles could be Project Finance under the EEG, Financing of Renewables, How to Develop Windmill Farms, etc. Additionally, there may be literature that is indirectly related to the title topic of the research paper project. Examples of literature titles could be Energy Politics, Sustainable Energy, Utopia or Reality, Handbook of Energy Law. Section 3. The Thoros As explained earlier, in the bibliographic context, a thesaurus is a structured list of index terms, or descriptors, that enables the identification of keywords related to scholarly disciplines. The following example uses the STW Thesaurus for Economics of ZBW Leibniz Information Center for Economics. First, an alphabetical list of standardized descriptors of the STW Thesaurus for Economics can be accessed via the Internet. Second, headwords from the sample topic are Project Finance. In the alphabetical list, a corresponding descriptor that is entitled Project Finance can be found. In this case, the headwords Project Finance are simultaneously keywords. Third, by clicking on the symbol on the right-hand side of the descriptor Project Finance, a window is opened that shows the virtual library catalog of the ZBW Leibniz Information Center for Economics. The virtual library catalog lists literature sources related to the descriptor. It should be noted that other thesauruses might use other alphabetical lists with different descriptors. Section 4. Search logic. Truncation. A common technique applied in literature search is truncation. A placeholder, also referred to as wildcard or joker, is used in search fields of OPEX or databases in order to increase the flexibility of the search request 
and the quantity of the search results. Depending upon the syntax prescribed by the software, symbols to be used in order to formulate a search request may vary. Common symbols are asterisk, exclamation mark, question mark, dollar sign and hash or number sign. There are different techniques of applying truncation. Right-sided truncation. The example market asterisk retrieves literature titles that contain words with the word component market on the left side of the word. Potential retrievals are titles that contain words such as marketability, marketable, marketeer, marketer, marketing, marketplace and markets. Left-sided truncation. The example asterisk market retrieves literature titles that contain words with the word component market on the right side of the word. Potential retrievals are titles that contain words such as supermarket, hypermarket, gray market, mark to market. Whether compound words with hyphens such as gray market are included in the findings depends upon the syntax prescribed by the applied software. Multiple character truncation. The example mode asterisk ing retrieves literature titles that contain words such as modeling with double L, modeling with single L, or moderating. The advantage of multiple character truncation is that it allows to search for different spellings of a word. However, the disadvantage is that meaningless words might be included in the search results. The word moderating, for example, would be out of context while searching for literature about financial modeling. Single character truncation. The example mode question mark ing retrieves literature titles that contain the words modeling. The advantage is that one can avoid meaningless results. The disadvantage is that it does not include findings with different spelling such as modeling. In our example, the single character truncation would be helpful to identify literature titles in American English. Section 5. Search logic. Boolean operations. Another technique applied in literature research is the use of Boolean operations. Boolean operations are logical connectives used in OPEC or database search. Operators such as AND, OR, NOT can be used in order to connect search words. This can be demonstrated by the following examples using the search words Project Finance. AND The operator AND is used in order to combine search words retrieving literature sources that include both search words. The combination project and finance retrieves literature titles that contain the word project as well as the word finance. OR The operator OR is used in order to combine search words retrieving literature sources that include either one or both search words. The combination project or finance retrieves literature titles that contain the word project or the word finance, as well as the word project and the word finance. NOT The operator NOT is used in order to combine search words retrieving literature sources that include some search words, but exclude other words. The combination project NOT finance retrieves literature titles that contain the word project, but not the word finance. Section 6. Search logic. Phrase searching. In a phrase search, phrases or sentences composed of adjacent words and closed with quotation marks or other symbols such as parentheses are used for OPEC or database search. This is demonstrated by the following example. 
the phrase search project financing retrieves literature titles that contain the exact word combination project financing. In contrast, the simple search project financing retrieves literature titles that contain the words project and financing in a random order. 